Okay, how we doing out there? I'm back again. I've got one more video to do, and I'm finished up from here. A few things I forgot. I told you I forget a few things. I would be I would be back. Um, the title of the uh, demonstration is "White is White Levels on a Black Screen." So I think we've already covered this the first time, but I had something already set up before. I didn't get a chance to put it in there, but I'm gonna show you what I got right here. So anyway, so today I went out and I took. Um, let me take this down some bit right here. It's all going together. I went out and I took some everyday black cardboard and used some black house paint. Let me show you the black house paint we used right here. So here's our black house paint that we used. Flat black house paint. Now, this is uh this shows uh, exactly how high the white levels are when it comes to our technology. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this everyday piece of cardboard coated in black paint and we're going to take, and as I said before, when it comes to our technology, our technology comes in a different shade. So that's why I have the shade here. This is our technology here, right there. That's our technology. This is a uh, everyday blackout cloth, actually projection screen black surface. And this right here is black paint. All right. Now we're going to take our coating and stick it on top of the all black screen that's coated with everyday black house paint. And as you can see, because like I said, I, I've been in a situation where we had a company that tried to reverse engineer our technology and they were making extra uh, containers of our product without us knowing. And they were trying to tell us that it was the paint that we sold them. That's what they were trying to tell us. The argument started off that way. So we brought in our coating and we stuck it to the screen and it came up like this and that's how we knew that they were trying to mimic our stuff and put it in cans and they were just trying to basically um re replenish their stock without buying from us like i said i've seen it all so that's why instead of making a black paint that looks black like everybody else we have that interesting color to it that shade so the background i have playing right now is some clouds Pushing through some nice bright colors. That's what I'm running right now. And we're going to go over to the screen so you can see that you can see the clouds moving back and forth here. But in here it's nice and dark. And then the outside of the screen, which is wallpaper, you can see the images of the clouds. And that's what I tried to explain that that, that this, uh, black paint does not have the ability to push white levels. See our floating clouds moving back and forth. Here we go. All right, so next we're going to go grab another white level. You know, a lot of people have been asking me about plexiglass and glass. I'm going to do a glass demonstration. I'm going to do a glass screen. And there we are right there with the uh, abstract design or screensaver design. And now you can see how it's pulling up on our technology right here, nice and bright. What I mean by this screen paint has one of the highest, brightest white levels for a black screen. Now, some people have taken that, uh, what I said, and ran with it by saying, oh, no, no, he said it was brighter than a white screen. No, never said that. I said it was bright, high, highest white levels for a black screen. So for those of you who are thinking that if I go out and get myself some everyday black house paint, I can do the same thing. Of course, you're gonna get contrast, but your images when it comes to white levels are gonna come out dirty. All right, so that's decided to quit. That's it, I'm done. All right, so now I'm gonna tell you something else that you need to look forward to. Now, when it comes to a black screen paint, one of the things you gotta think about is some people will try to take a dark, dark gray screen and pass it off as a black screen. Now, dark gray is what it is, it's dark gray. So this right here is dark gray. And what they'll do is they'll try to bring out a dark gray screen paint that's not black, but it's dark gray and pass it off as a black screen. Now, if you look at our screen here, it's black, right? This is black, but as I said, black comes in multiple shades. That's how we know the difference between our technology 
And this is a gray screen that tries to pass off to be a black screen. That's how you can tell if someone is trying to fake a demonstration by saying that their black screen pulls higher white levels. It'll pull a higher white level because the screen is technically a dark gray. It's not black, but they'll try to pass it off as a black. This is the kind of stuff we see every day. I see this stuff every, every day when I watch people's demonstrations. And I do watch people's demonstrations, I do. I do take the time out to watch demonstrations, I do. Now let me show you something right here. We're gonna do um, 4K flowers. Let's do some 4K flowers. Um, four. And for those who've been asking us about plexiglass, we did a few plexiglass paint-ons. I'll do one today. Um, I'll do a plexiglass paint on. All right, so we're gonna grab some 4K flowers. Gonna grab this right here, this one right here, right there, and I'll show you. Now, as I said before, that our screen paint has a very high white level, but it's not gonna be able to um to uh to to match not not match but not be able to beat a <laughs> screen that's gonna have a higher white level. We'll take the gray right here. We'll put it against our screen right there, and we'll step back. That's how high the white levels are on a black screen. What in the world? I was eating something earlier today. You ever eat something and you have something in your mouth? Now see what I mean? The white levels are going to be a tad lower when it comes to a black screen. That's always going to be that way, even with a white screen. Because like I said, light gray screens and white screens are always going to produce a higher white level. I'm going to show you that right from the door. But the problem you have here is the fact that even though our technology, like I said, produces an amazing bright level, and it does, look how high the level is. When it comes to contrast, that's the problem that a uh, gray screen or a light um, white screen, or white screen, going to be light anyway, is going to have that problem. So, our lights on, lights off, so we can all get a, a look at it. So I'm not going to hide anything from you. I'm going to show you just like it is. That's how bright the technology is on a black screen. We can pull up an image high enough to come very close to blend it in to a light gray screen. That's how high the white levels are on our black technology. But, let me show you. I'm knocking over a can of paint on my white floors. Don't want that. So you're seeing it live. No way you're offering to fake this in any way whatsoever. Dark gray screen is somewhat blending in to a screen that's black. Now, like I said, white levels are always going to be higher, as I said before. But look at the white levels on our black technology. Now, I'm going to show you something that the screen can't do. You know where I'm going at, right? We all know where I'm going at. Now, let's show you this. It can't pull contrast. I don't care how dark gray the screen is, if it's not black, it can't pull contrast on any level whatsoever. This is black, as we can all see. And look at this. That's what makes our technology different. Because we can we designed a black screen paint that has the ability to pull a high enough level that it can actually almost come close to blending into a dark gray screen, but yet when it comes to contrast, the dark gray screen is going to struggle. Let's go over here to a um, uh, LG. And that watch one made me dizzy as I don't know what. Those stars made me really dizzy. Made me really dizzy. My, it's kind of spinning right now. I like doing this particular one right here. Let's see. Let's get a little back a little farther back. Here we go.
Now, if you ever watched an OLED demonstration, you know the background of an OLED demonstration is black, not gray. But our image is pulling up a high enough level, color level, that is blending in. Now, oh, and my wallpaper screen, that's it right over there, folded rolled up already. Ready to go upstairs to go up on my wall? Oh man, right now I'm playing freaking um, Borderline 3. I love that game so much. And man, I'm telling you, that game is coming out looking crazy. It's gonna look crazy on that screen. Let me get this out of the way. Bring it back a little bit more. Here we go. So with the lights on, dark gray looks much better. But lights on, you'll see it for what it is. And this is what I'm trying to, and I ain't trying to, I mean, we've all been over this over and over and over again and again and again, right? But that's just to show you right there from the door that, you know, we have our technology. That's why I said one of the things you have to watch out uh, when somebody is doing a demonstration involving a black screen, I guarantee you bar none, that screen is going to be very dark gray. That's how we know that. So if you look at our technology... It's black next to that dark gray, isn't it? Now, if we take our stuff, it's funny how the eyes play, 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 messes with your head when it comes to colors. That's black, right? Now, look at our technology next to it. Now, this is interesting. So, like I said, I mean, anybody right now that's trying to develop or come up with a black... Put it this, way, this is what I understand. If you've been protesting and protesting and protesting... That a black screens are too dark, that black screens can't do this and can't do that, and then all of a sudden you make your own black screen, doesn't that kind of make you a bit of a hypocrite? Or does it prove that I was right? That contrast is everything. My sound bar is not on. All right. Um, let me see. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Oh, 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 yeah, I forgot. Plexiglass. Someone was asking me about plexiglass. Like, can you paint plexiglass? This is my LED screen, which these are the LED lights that are on the back of my screen, which I don't need anymore. I just need to spot paint something on real quick. Take some plexiglass. And we'll take um and we got a couple of sheets. Got a couple of sheets of plexiglass here. Right, a couple of sheets. So I don't know how I'm going to get these on, but let me see if I can just peel this off. I'm going to do a paint-on demonstration right now. Now, keep in mind, as I said about our black technology, that, that um, as it's wet, it is dark. As it starts to dry, it gets brighter. I've done this demonstration before so if you're curious i'll post another link at the bottom that'll show you uh the screen um with um with uh one i just did i did when i painted one on there's the paint right there anybody that's curious about the paint there it is right there 
Uh, I need a roller. I'll take a... Oh, shoot. Okay. Sorry about that. Got a separate roller. And we'll grab a um, fan. Which we're going to need to dry the screen. So I'll put my fan here. All right. Let's see what else we need. We got anything else we got? All right. Um, let's just put a continuous loop um, on. Do we have anything in here with a continuous loop? Oh, nope. Okay. Uh, let's go with. Um, okay. Yeah, that sounds like a horse. Uh, let's go with. Um, I see. I find something here. Let's throw anything on there. We just need something on there. Just something for a continuous loop. That's all we need. Nothing special. All right. We're going to throw the continuous loop on. Um, let me see if I need anything here to get this started. Uh, let's tape this down. So we'll take the some of this tape. And let's just tape some of this stuff down. Sorry about the screen rotating. Uh, let's see. How are we going to do this? I'm just going to go from here to no, no, can't do it that way. Let's try it this way. We'll go across here and we'll tape this one here. All right, and then we'll go and we'll tape. I need some more tape. Um, I'm just stripping tape off the stuff here. That's what I'm doing. And we'll take this one and we'll put it here. All right, we're gonna we're gonna paint over the tape and everything. Everything's being painted over. Everything. And uh, let me see. Do I have more tape? Any more tape? I need more tape. I need more tape. Uh, let me just grab whatever's off of here. I'll take this right here, and I'll stick this right there, like so. The most craziest projection screen you guys have ever seen. And we'll take some of this, and we'll tape it right there. All right. Someone's asking me a question now. This is plexiglass. Plexiglass. These are squares of plexiglass right here. And then this is the tile, you know that tile that you get when you do your ceiling, your drop ceiling, and you get that tile over top. Ooh, and you get that, that tile over top that basically when you have your lights come through, that's pretty much when you do the drop ceiling, though. So that's pretty much what it is. All right, let's grab our roller. Now keep in mind, some people will tell you that you have to get a special roller, blah, 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 blah. No, you don't. I get my rollers from Dollar Tree. Yes, I do. I get them from Dollar Tree. Come on, man. Out, out. There we go. Come on, let's get on out of there. Let's get on out of there. Come on, let's play nice for once. All right, so we're just going to roll over it. All right. No primer. No, none of, none of that. We're just going to paint over it. That's it. The one coat application. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Done. Because people think you got to do plexiglass. You got to put this coating down because it has a slick surface. Nah, you don't. You don't have to when it comes to our stuff. We're done. <sighs> Boom! Look at that. Isn't that beautiful or what? Boom. Shakalaka. I'm going to jack up my screen. I know it. I really don't want to mess my screen up here. Uh, I'm going to grab something because I'm going to mess up my wallpaper screen. Because the back of my screen, I know it's wet. Uh, so let's take this because I don't care about this side. Now let's stick it up there. There we go. Because that's the side I can use because I don't really care about that much. And then we'll take our stuff. Mm -mm -mm. There you go. Done. Plexiglass. Now some people may ask me, okay, if I use plexiglass, is it going to be brighter? Is it going to be, um, is it going to change the, the surface quality? I mean, it's not surface quality, but it's a smoother surface. I mean, 
If, if I was going to do plexiglass, I would spray it on instead of rolling it on. But, you know, it's up to you on how you want to do it. Let's move it over just a little bit so we can get past that white screen over here. Look at the white screen. Okay. Yes. Go on hitting the white screen with it. And I have to use the fan. That's pretty cool. Usually I have to use the fan. You see how the colors pop? So I can pretty much, since this is mine, because this is going to be my box anyway, because I'm keeping this green, let's paint over a box. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like, that can't be possible, you just can't. See, this is the stuff I went through when I was on ABS Forms. When I did this on ABS Forms, this is why I got banned. Because at that particular time, it took hours and hours to install a screen in. So when I came in and went zip, 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 they got banned. They didn't like that too much. Now, I consider this kind of light, this is easy light. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go outside. We're gonna take the same things we just painted in here. We're gonna take them outside and do the same demonstration outside. <laughs> there it is, my cardboard two projection screen. Do, do, do. Oh, we'll put it right there. How about that? Voila! Cardboard two projection screen. Hmm. Look how bright the color is. For a screen that's black. Um, hmm. What else do we got? What else should I paint today? Hmm. I don't really got anything else in here to paint. Um, I don't know, I can use that. Do I have any styrofoam in here? I don't think I got any styrofoam in here. That's how easy it is to paint this stuff. That's why I chose to go with the bright, bright colors. Hmm. That's back in my early days when I had to train. If anybody's curious about my Dan, and that's what they're called, Dan's, I stopped at eight. I still teach, I actually teach my um, my nieces and nephews, I teach them. They have no form of discipline whatsoever. That's because they're young. All right. And I say, so I shouldn't paint over this because, man, I have a hard time getting boxes. You know, it's hard to get boxes when Christmas time rolls around because there's a shortage. And I have them shipped to the house. You know what? No, because then I'll have somebody saying, well, he wouldn't do a box. Well, I just did a box a few minutes ago, so why should it even matter? I mean, literally, I'll have people come in and say, oh, he wouldn't do a postal shipping box. So that proves his technology doesn't work out of the way. It doesn't work. So, And I just did a box right there. You'd be surprised from the interesting comments I get from time to time. Uh, let's see. Um, I don't have anything else here, people. I'm trying to find something else here in the shop that I can just roll over and just have some fun with. But I don't have anything else in here. Let's see if we can find something else. Hmm. If I use the metal pan, I was thinking about it, my wife would kill me. Well, girlfriend, wife. You know, we've been together so long as mother is to be wife. Anyway, let's, uh, let's see. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's do this. We'll do a little spot right there. Yeah, we'll do half of it. Blue, 
blue, blue, blue, blue. Come back here for a minute. Come up here. There we go. I think one of these days, I think I did that already. Oh, nice punching bag. Oh, man. This is, uh, it's 100 pounds, man. I bought this right after I freaking, uh, I retired. I bought this. It's a 100 pound bag. Ugh. It's a pain in the neck to get in the freaking house. But yeah, I used to have all those toys, man. I used to have all those toys, man. Makawakis and everything, man. Uh, my, uh, my, um, my grandfather's a three-time grandmaster. He actually has a, a white belt in um, Kung Fu. Now, for those of you thinking like white belt and Kung Fu, there's no such thing as a black belt in Kung Fu. Kung Fu basically is built on purity. So the lighter your sash, the more advanced the fighter. So if you ever come across somebody or if you're in martial arts or whatever and you see somebody in an arena with a white belt, that's a master right there. He'll beat the different daylights out of you. It takes 15 years to become a master in, in Kung Fu. He, he studied uh, Black Tiger, but he has his, uh, he has, he's a grandmaster in Taekwondo, uh, Jiu Jitsu, and um, Kung Fu. And he's the one that actually trained me. But I'm done. I'm 51 years old. I don't get in any fights. I'm, thank God I don't get any fights. I don't like to hurt people. It's a bad thing to do, you know what I mean? I just say to myself, that's what you're supposed to do. Just stay to yourself, you know? That's what I do. But uh, I'm training my, uh, my nieces and nephews right now. <laughs> they all think they're Ninja Turtles. It's the most hilarious thing ever. They're funny, so I don't know what to hang around with. But, uh, yeah. Those are my little ones, man. I'm training them right now. They're funny. All right, so we got our box and everything. Let's take our lights out, too, also. Oh, let's do the side of that cardboard box. I think that'll come out with really cool, huh? Let's do the side part of it. See, it didn't take much. Because it's a one coat application. So pretty much, it's just one, it's just one coat, that's it. I'm going to do the side part of it. I'm curious what that would look like. You know, the side of it. Get the side of that. Oh, that's freaking cool. The problem I got part of that white screen sticking out right there. See, the screen's white. I got it sticking out there. I'll cover that up. There we go. I get the R. I need the black technology on it. Oh, and stay. There we go. Looks pretty cool. I think I'm gonna build me a screen with all these boxes sticking out and just coat all of it and just give it kind of an abstract kind of 3d coming at you kind of look to it i think i'm gonna design one like that so see with the blues that's what i love about the sea with the blues just come out looking look how vivid and look how um you know i feel like i seriously when i talk like that i feel like, i don't know if you guys remember i don't know how far you guys go back but i remember the guy from from a living color the guy who did the mimic on the juicer like you gotta have the flavor from the juices like do you remember that from jim carrey but anyway i just kind of feel like sometimes when i feel like talking but just look at this look at the technology this is our black technology here and this is the black technology here and this is over here coded over here and this is over here on the box and look at the white this is the white screen right there that's yeah i was actually kind of looking at i was looking at your um I was looking at your uh, your uh, when, you, when your thing came up on email. I was like, yeah, you know, you're in the boxing, but uh, yeah, I think that's amazing, man. I think it's amazing. Stay with it as long as you possibly can, man. Stay with it as long as you possibly can. You know, I uh, I stopped in my 40s. That's when I stopped. You know, and then with this and everything, I just didn't have time to go in for training and stuff like that, but. I was happy with an eighth degree black belt. I'm good with it. I mean, I don't need anything more than that. I mean, never really going to use it, to tell you the truth. Honestly, goodness, truth, you're never going to use it. So, you know, hopefully you never use it. You know what I mean? So, and then on, you know, 
it's just that I just I just get a joy out of teaching my little ones now. So it, it's cool, you know what I mean? And then teaching them discipline and, you know, you don't do dumb stuff with it, like go out and bully people with it, you know, stuff like that, you know. Oh, man, I don't even have the video. The video's on pause. My, I'm, I'm sorry. My fault. Look how the blues are looks like candy. I'm going to take a bite out of the screen. Like, rawr. If I do not uh, answer you back right away, I do apologize because on our end, on my end, when the message comes up, it is uh, it comes up for a split second and it disappears. It really does. I have to wait until <coughs> I upload the, when the video uploads and everything. Um, where I can read exactly. You know, I'll put my email information in the bottom. You know, if you want to just chat me a bit, I'm right there. So just you know, contact me from there. Oh, the lights back on. Uh. All right, so that screen, they're both still wet, so it's going to take some time. It's going to take time to dry. I'll put the fan on to be dry like in about 30 minutes. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take my, later on today, around 4 o'clock. Oops, you do spell. Around 4 o'clock, we're just going to take our, uh, our projection screen, whatever, and we're just going to take it outside. We're going to do a demonstration outside, and uh, yeah, we'll have some fun with it. I'm going to get myself a cup of tea because I love tea and I'm going to uh, see you later on Hope you enjoy the paint on demonstration just showing you how fast it is to use it and this stuff is absolutely incredible Yeah, I'll have that information to you soon uh, We're gonna be shipping your package by FedEx because it's a much bigger package. Um, uh, I have um, I do have a um, Better shipping deals when shipping larger packages with FedEx. Um, so sometimes your packages, especially if you're overseas, some of your packaging might come by FedEx. Um, usually the smaller packages we ship by uh, United States Postal Service. But uh, usually packages like projectors and stuff like that, they all get shipped by FedEx. So I have a, um, what is it called? I don't know what you call it, you have with them. It's not a membership. It's something like, you know, you have like a business uh, <coughs> account. There you go. Boom. Just said it. Business account. I have a business account. With them, so uh, yeah, um, we'll just go through. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll send it up. Actually, we'll send it through there. You, you'll be good to go. Trust me. I'll have you taken care. Of. But yeah, your package. And that's why I requested a phone number. I do have to request phone number. Do not post it here, please. But I requested a phone number. We will need that to ship the package. And keep in mind, behind the screen is plexiglass. So those of you who didn't see the demonstration, this is actually behind this screen is a sheet of plexiglass. There's the plexiglass right here. I left some of it unpainted, and there's two pieces of plexiglass right there on the screen. Just to show you how this stuff blends into just about everything. You wouldn't notice if you were staring at it, there was actually a sheet of plexiglass with two pieces of plexiglass right on top of it. All right. Hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. If I don't get the one done by today, it'll be tomorrow. Um, right now, I have some very important business that has to be taken care of tomorrow. I want to get out of the way. And I have that projector coming in on. Um, that projector will be here on. Um, God, what's the projector coming in? Thursday. The projector comes in on Thursday. That's when it'll be here. And um, we'll, do, uh, we'll do that review on it. So look at this. I used a cardboard shipping box and I used a piece of plexiglass sorry about that plexiglass with sheets of plexiglass on top of it and taped over with frog tape that was my screen right there I just made so that's why I tell you you got to think out the box you know when you guys are asking me what can I paint it on? What can I paint it on? You gotta think outside the box, man. You can paint this stuff literally on anything you want. 
got to think outside the box. Go to Home Depot. Look around. I go to Home Depot all the time and just look for stuff to paint over. Always find something at Home Depot to turn into a screen. You know, one time I got bored and I used window blinds. Window blinds to make a screen. It's pretty fun. You know? That right there is from a screen door. This is from a screen door. So the screen is coated in paint. And as long as the background is black, it reflects just like a 3D, it gets off a kind of a 3D effect. And the more screens that you put in there, the more the 3D effect it reacts so there's kind of a trick to it when you when you do the kind of like screen door oh thank you thank you you have a good day my friend when you do the um uh, like 3d screen you do four screens and then four screens you set them off a little bit in, like an inch off from each one side to side to side it's kind of like a stair step and then you kind of get the kind of 3d effect but your camera is really having a hard time trying to pick up so let's do something where we can camouflage it a little better. It's, it's something that is, it's not something you want to turn into a screen for say, for like movies and stuff, but it's more like something that you're going to be doing it for abstract art. This may get some of you busy, but it's something you want to use for doing abstract art. And it gives it the look of 3D. But the more screens you, play, you put in there, you actually um, uh, mimic the picture by one inch off. Every time you put an inch to the screen, away from the screen itself, like a stair step, like stairs, it actually mimics the image over and over and over again until it actually looks like it's actually a 3D image. I kind of figured that out by accident one time when I was actually just painting a screen. And just to show you that it works, there's the image right there. There's the image right there. So you can see it for yourself. And you got to think outside the box. You really got to think outside the box. You got to think that I can just watch me coat over plexiglass and two pieces of small plexiglass on that plexiglass and it were taped with frog tape and it blended right into the screen. You didn't even see it there. This is a window screen over at Home Depot. I got that for around $9. How you make your own 3D screens. There's my plexiglass. One coat. So you can go down to Home Depot. I wouldn't suggest going to Home Depot and buying plexiglass. <coughs> I'm gonna say right now, I did it already. Uh, the plexiglass down there they got down there is quite thick and It can cost you I paid to see I got a 4 by 8 down there and it cost me almost $200 So I would suggest going to eBay or looking around before you go down there and get it At least if you get it from eBay or online they can at least ship it to your house because if not um, Home Depot charges I think $75 to ship something to your house or you can just go get a U-Haul for 20 bucks and just pick it up all right, and over here, this is the wallpaper screen right here. This is the wallpaper screen I just showed you in the demonstration. Already rolled up. Now keep in mind, when I had um, this screen, put this over here real quick, the other way. When I moved here and I had this screen, this is, the, this is what I'm talking about, the convenience of having wallpaper. See the size of this screen right here? This screen right here, I had to carry this thing up uh, I'll show you how to carry. I had to carry it up two flights of stairs. So this is going to be me transporting a hundred-inch wallpaper screen upstairs. Show how easy it's going to be. Because if I was taking that up there, I'd be maneuvering all through the hallway. So we're going to go upstairs. Uh, man. Yeah, my junkie environment. That's my stuffed cat. Don't judge me. That's it. Done. Now, 
If I was taking that 100 inch screen upstairs, you see how narrow my hallway is? What I would have to do to get this thing inside of my room? So, I would have to push it this way, here, and then get it out far enough, which I think I just marked my wall there. Get it far enough out to slant it so it's here, and then I have to bring it all the way into here, and then I have to bring it down the stairs. Where with this, done. Can't wait for him to burn that baby. Gonna burn it! That's so easy just to move a wallpaper screen. That's it, done. Go up there, I'm going to uh, Lowe's today. And I'm gonna pick me up some double-sided tape. I'm gonna take my screen up, put my PS4 and everything upstairs, and finish my Borderlands on my wallpaper screen. And I think the projector I'm probably gonna use, I'm probably gonna use, because I don't have another short though here, this is the only short that I have for right now. I'm going to use my uh, power light Epson 480 <coughs> Ultra Short Throw. I'm using that one for my screen upstairs. Okay, that's based about it. Hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Uh, clean up is pretty easy for those who want to know. Hot water and soap, that's it. <sighs> There's the screen right there. Screen right there, screen right there. Easy to do. Just got to think outside the box on how you want to build your screen. So yeah, you can paint it on drywall, you can paint anything you want. You can paint it over your garage door. I don't think you want to paint it over your garage. Well, that'd be kind of cool, paint it over your garage door. If you got a rotating screen that comes in and out, which would be really cool, but I don't think uh, your wife would probably, or I don't know anyone would, I don't know, who cares? You know what I mean? If that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. It's up to you. I ain't trying to get you in trouble or anything. But anyway, yeah, so that's what's so cool about this stuff. You can paint it over anything you want. So you just watch the live demonstration. All right, let me get out of here because I'll be rambling on forever. And you don't want to hear me ramble on. All right, I got to go. Thank you all. God bless. Oh, uh, real quick. Uh, those you've been asking us about shipping costs, we ship anywhere in the world for free. So doesn't make a difference where you lay your head on the planet. We ship it to you for free. So like I said, um, whether you uh, one gallon or a quart or two quarts or whatever you want, we ship it to you for free. All right, uh, keep in mind the wallpaper screens will be available on the website tomorrow. I got to go, and God bless.